Hurricane Francine is rapidly strengthening in the Gulf of Mexico and is becoming a stronger hurricane as it approaches Louisiana. But one big thing that we're going to have to watch for throughout the day today is how intense it gets and exactly where it's going to be making landfall as we continue to see a wiggle wobble between where it'll be making landfall in Louisiana. We are expecting the potential for significant storm surge, high winds, and as well as flooding rainfall and perhaps a tornado outbreak tonight into tomorrow. So in today's forecast, we're going to break down exactly exactly what you need to know about Hurricane Francine and why this is becoming more and more of a concern for Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and even parts of Florida. We are going to begin with what's happening with Francine this morning. And again, notice there's been a massive area of convection that's been blowing up near the eye, and this is continuing to wrap, and it's basically organizing very quickly in the northwestern Gulf of Mexico. And as we go throughout the morning and afternoon hours, we are expecting this to continue to move northeast towards Louisiana, and it is expected to make landfall later this afternoon or in the early evening as a strong hurricane at least somewhere around a high-end category one perhaps even a low-end category two hurricane upon landfall in louisiana here's a closer view on the infrared imagery of hurricane francine and again notice how all this convective activity is wrapping around the eye of francine and that's going to basically intensify this as we go throughout the day today the national hurricane hunters have been basically going into this hurricane and observing even higher wind speeds and even lower pressure which does mean that this is continuing to intensify as it moves quickly to the northeast towards Louisiana. And by the way, it is picking up speed. So this thing is really starting to move quicker towards Louisiana. We, and we are expecting landfall later this afternoon. So make sure if you have any sort of preparations that you need to do, make sure you're taking them now and prepare for a Category 2 type hurricane in Louisiana. Even though it's not a guarantee that's going to happen, you should be preparing for that scenario. Now, Hurricane Francine is continuing to intensify as it moves towards Louisiana. We do have hurricane warnings in effect for parts of southern Louisiana. We are expecting a landfall later this afternoon, probably between about 5 and 8 o'clock or so this evening. We are expecting it to go live at some point later this afternoon, so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified when we do go live. After it makes landfall, this will quickly weaken into a tropical storm by Thursday morning, and then by Thursday afternoon and evening, we are expecting this to be downgraded to a tropical depression, and then after that, this thing is done, mostly just producing rain as we go into Friday with maybe one little sneaky tornado risk left for Friday afternoon. Most computer models are in a consensus that this hurricane will be making landfall in southern Louisiana today. All of them pretty much in the same sort of area, just to the southwest of Huma, and also southwest of New Orleans is where we're expecting uh, landfall, probably near the New Iberia area. So make sure that you're prepared for landfall in this area. Hurricane force winds will be the greatest right around where the eye makes landfall. Overall, the wind field isn't huge out of this hurricane, so the greatest of the wind speeds will be confined to a relatively small area. With that said if you're in the hurricane warning be prepared for the potential for wind gusts that could go as high as 100 miles per hour later today and also i do think power outages will be a concern for the new orleans area so make sure that you are ready for power outages as well have flashlights on hand weather radios ready to go as well now, this is the latest from a hurricane-based computer model, which will give you a pretty good idea of what's happening with Hurricane Francine in terms of the wind speeds and also the future radar in just a second. But I want to begin with the wind field. Again, notice how all that purple is showing up. Those are very strong winds. We're talking upwards of 70 to 85 knot winds, which is around basically 75 to 90 mile per hour winds all around the eye right now. As we go throughout the morning and eventually closer to lunchtime, the outer eye wall will start to arrive towards areas in southern Louisiana, and this is going to be when we're watching for some of the greatest impacts, including significant storm surge rolling right into the coastline and also the highest wind speeds will also be another thing that we're going to have to be watching for upwards of, again, 100 mile per hour wind gusts will be a possibility. This is expected to weaken a little bit as it approaches land right around the mid to late afternoon hours. There is a lot of wind shear associated right along the coastline, and so this will help to weaken this hurricane just a little bit before it makes landfall in Louisiana. So if this is a Category 2 hurricane, let's say at 2 o'clock this afternoon and we're four hours from landfall it could be downgraded to a category one before landfall because of all that wind shear that is going to be in place here as this moves inland right around dinner time and just after sunset this will continue to move towards just west of new orleans where some of the highest wind gusts will be in those areas at least tropical storm force winds expected there and then as we go into the overnight hours this continues to move north it'll rapidly weaken and overall the wind speeds will be tropical storm force or less i don't really expect anything super significant though here in 
central Mississippi, but overall, this will continue to roll them in the north with at least some gusty winds still remaining. Here's what the future radar looks like. Notice how, again, we have a very impressive looking outer and inner bands. The inner bands are going to be really impressive. Those outer bands, as they develop throughout the afternoon, we're going to be watching for an increasing tornado threat in southeastern Louisiana. This is right around lunchtime. I think our tornado threat really ramps up by mid to late afternoon as that outer band activity moves inland. This is where the greatest rainfall and also the greatest winds will be located. So overall, it's going to be really on that northern side is where the highest wind speeds will be. That is where the eye wall intercept will be for several storm chasers today. And speaking of storm chasers, we will have live coverage on Hurricane Francine today with plenty of storm chasers and tons of live cameras. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified if and when we do go live. As we go later into the afternoon, this continues to move northbound and eventually by dinner time, we're watching for the most significant rainfall to be on the northern side of the eye. And then also these outer bands here is where we're going to be watching for several tornadoes throughout the late afternoon all the way through the overnight hours. This will start in southeast Louisiana. It'll move into southern Mississippi, eventually southern Alabama, and then eventually into parts of Florida. And then as we go into Thursday morning, this continues to roll to the north, and we'll be watching for yet again another threat for tornadoes on Thursday across much of Alabama. And one of the biggest impacts out of Hurricane Francine will 100% be the storm surge. This is one of the biggest killers when it comes to hurricanes is storm surge, and we are expecting upwards of 10 feet of storm surge to peak anywhere from the Vermilion and Cameron Parish line all the way back through Port Fourchon. So if you're in any of these areas, make sure that you're taking all evacuation orders seriously. This is your last chance to get out of there before things really start to get hairy. Upwards of seven feet of storm surge will be possible back through the mouth of the Mississippi River and even back closer to the bay where New Orleans is. We could see upwards of five feet of storm surge and also back near the Mobile Bay. We're expecting upwards of four feet of storm surge in those areas. Now, the tornado threat out of Francine is really going to be peaking as we go into the late afternoon hours today and eventually through the overnight hours. This is where the greatest tornado threat will be located as we go into the late afternoon, mostly in southeast Louisiana. As we go into the evening hours, this will start to move more to the north towards southern Mississippi, southern Alabama, and far western Florida, near areas like Panama City. And then eventually, as we go into the overnight hours into Thursday morning, we will continue to watch for a tornado threat across western Florida and southern Alabama. Now, as we go into Thursday afternoon, we are expecting another round of storms to develop on those outer bands that will produce another risk for tornadoes. Now, we're not really sure how that's going to pan out yet, but we do think there is at least a potential for a tornado outbreak on Thursday across Alabama. With that said, it's not set in stone that we will see a tornado outbreak, but it is a possibility depending on how things evolve today and tonight. So keep that in mind if you're in Alabama. As of right now, I would definitely be on alert for at least a few tornadoes being possible Thursday afternoon and evening, and even parts of western Georgia could get in on that as well, and even parts of western Florida. So definitely make sure that you're staying weather aware. Here's the future radar through this morning and into the afternoon. So again, notice lots of showers and thunderstorms across parts of Louisiana. Heaviest of the rainfall will be in central eastern Louisiana, back into southern Mississippi and Alabama. As we go into Thursday, this continues to lift to the north, and a lot of the storm activity on those outer bands will be pushing east. Meanwhile, we'll be watching for reinitiation around those outer bands as we go into Thursday afternoon across Alabama, which is where we could see another round of, again, tornadoes being possible in Alabama. But again, some question marks do still remain on the evolution of of that. Here's what it looks like in terms of total rainfall accumulation. Again, this is an estimate, but most areas in southeast Louisiana will be picking anywhere up from four to eight inches of rain. Some isolated spots could be near a foot of rain. Alabama and even Mississippi getting in on some good rainfall overall. Many areas picking up at least one to two inches of rain. Several areas upwards of four to six inches of rain, which will be very beneficial as there is still a drought ongoing. Now, beyond today and tomorrow, we're going to be watching this continuing to move up to the north through the Mississippi River. It is expected to just fizzle out entirely though by the weekend so we're just going to be left with basically just some showers and a little bit of moisture out there we are going to have to watch early next week for maybe a little tropical system to develop off the coast of North Carolina doesn't look like something super concerning right now but something to watch for and we also could see a round of severe storms fire up in North Dakota and even South Dakota as we go into the middle of next week so that might be the next live stream after today or tomorrow thank you so much for watching make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already